Hello, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you this uh, this evening? Everybody's doing well. Very nice, teacher. Yeah. Good, good, excellent. I'm glad you had a a good day today, Hugo. What about the rest of you? How was your day? How was your day today? Good, bad? Excellent. Yeah, oh, wow, I like that. You had an excellent day, that's a very, that's very good. Okay, very good. Um, all right, so what we'll do right now is we'll start with our attendance. Um, just one moment. Okay. Here we go. Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. Aaron Alberto. Aaron Alberto, no? Uh, Adriana Beatriz Rodriguez Sosa. Present. Thank you, Adriana. Eh, Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Um, Daniel Oswaldo Aquino Correas. Daniel Oswaldo Aquino. Um, Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderon. Edwin Adonai. Eloisa Abigail Ortiz de Garcia. Luis Abigail. Um, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Um, Henry Oswaldo Quintanilla Lopez. Miss, este, yo creo que él no se va a poder conectar porque está bastante enfermo. Todo el día ha pasado bien mal. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, ¿Y usted tiene ahorita contacto con él? Sí, pero este, digamos que se durmió por lo mismo de que no sabemos qué le ha hecho daño, pero ha estado hasta con fiebre. Oh, okay. Bueno. All right. Um, all right, let's continue. Hugo Ad Adalberto Orellana Vides. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. Jose Angel Hernández López. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Juan Alberto. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Present. All right, thank you, Catherine. Um, Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Kenia Vanessa. Kevin Adrian Rodriguez Lopez. Kevin Adrian. Kimberly Natalie Contreras Gonzalez. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Kenia. Uh, Kevin Adrián Rodríguez, no, no. ¿Ya dije Kevin? Ya me perdí. Disculpe. 
Kevin, Adrián. Ok. Uh, Kimberly, Natalie Contreras González. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Kimberly. Marvin Alberto Morales Solórzano. Marvin Alberto. Menu Alexander Santos Solís. Menor Alexander. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi. Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, Pedro. Eh, Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. I present, Miss. Thank you, Rafael. Romeo Antonio Gutierrez Cerón. Oh, Thank you, Romeo. Is it possible to turn on your camera? Perdón. Este, de momento no tengo dispositivo con cámara. Este, no estoy en la computadora. Ok. Eh, ¿Se va a poder conectar más, más cerdecito o, o se va a mantener ese dispositivo? Eh, si puedo, me voy a conectar en la computadora más tarde. Pero creo que de momento no voy a mantener ese dispositivo. Ok. Ok. No problem. Thank you, Romeo. Bye. Solo le voy a pedir un, un favor, Romeo. Eh, entonces, si se va a mantener ese dispositivo, um, por favor, eh, cambie el nombre para que le aparezca el nombre completo. Ok. Um, Ruth del Carmen Rosales Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. All right, thank you, Sandra. Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. Sonia Yanira. Víctor Manuel Arqueta Rauta. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, Víctor. Uh, Yanira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Anira. And Judith Edith, Edith Chavez de Herarte. Judith Edith Chavez de Herarte. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Miss. Uh, just a second. Hugo, have you levantado la mano? Miss. No. Yes, yes, yes. So, no. so, la aplicación me había sacado cuando pasó el listo, entonces no le pude responder. Ok. All right. Thank you very much, Hugo. Hugo Adalberto. Ok. Y alguien más estaba hablando Mi, también. Yo, yo acabo de entrar y creo que me mencionó y no estaba. Oh, huh. Kenia Vanessa. Kenia Vanessa Funes. Funes. Ok. Thank you, Kenia. All right. Okay, okay. All right, guys and girls. So um, we have been talking about the simple past, right? We've been talking about um, the how to make the simple past um, in different forms of the simple past. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be um, talking not about how to create the simple past, but how to pronounce it, OK? So I want you to. Take a look at my screen. Please tell me. No, just a second. Demo un momentito. Okay, please tell me if um, you are able to see my screen. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. 
Yes, miss. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, so in that case, um, let's talk about um, how to pronounce the endings when we have ed, okay? Remember, these are for regular verbs, okay? So with regular verbs, remember that we use the ed at the end, usually. Remember? Right? Uh, words like walk, sorry, work, watch, um, clean, stay, uh, invite, uh, visit. Those words have, those verbs have ed at the end because they are regular. This only applies to regular verbs, not irregular, because irregular have, uh, they all have different endings. So this is only for regular verbs, okay? So for regular verbs, um, we have three different pronunciations, okay? The first pronunciation is like, like a T sound, okay? Can everybody repeat after me? Everybody? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. I, I want to hear everybody. Pronounce it with me. Quiero que todo lo pronuncie, así que quiero escucharlo. Yo no quiero uno. Quiero saber que todos pueden hacer ese sonido. Okay, very good. So when you pronounce when you pronounce um, verbs with the sound, it's going to sound like this. We're going to pronounce it. So, work, 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 and with this one, we're also going to say the t sound. So it's going to sound like this. Watched. 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 Exactly. OK, good. Now, another sound that the regular verbs make is d. 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 Everybody, quiero escuchar los que todos pueden hacer el sonido. D. 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 Okay. D. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now with this one, it are words like, for example, clean. So we're going to say cleaned. 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 Good. Okay. And the other one is stayed. 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 Okay. Now, the other sound, the third sound that we can make is id. Okay? Id. 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 Mm -hmm. id. So, id. 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 It's one sound. Id. 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 Not, not id. Id, no, porque ahí serían dos sonidos. Es solo id. It. 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 Okay. Very it. good. It. All right. So, for example, invited. 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 Yes. It. Visited. 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 Very good. Okay, excellent. 
Um, all right. Now, the question is, how do you know when to make the sound t, when to make the sound d, and when to make the sound id? Do you know? Alguien sabe cuando, eh, cómo saber? No. I'm now teacher. No? ¿Una idea? ¿Una idea alguien? ¿Por las consonantes? Mm, no. Las, las conjugaciones. Mm, no. En oh. los tiempos. Ok, va, les voy a ayudar. Ok, so. ¿Los verbos? Para esto, el, vamos, voy, a, voy, a, voy a hablar un momentito en español porque quiero que, que todo lo entienda muy bien. Para esto necesito que agarren estos dos deditos que están acá o, o cualquier dedito que usted quiera y se lo ponga aquí en la garganta. Ok, so put it right here on your throat. Porque es importante para poder entender este, esa regla. ¿okay? Ahora quiero que pronuncien estas palabras, solamente los verbos. Work. 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 No, solo el verbo. No, 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 no es con el final. Solo el verbo. Work. 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 Watch. 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 Do you hear, do you feel some, something at the end of the words? Work. Watch. Work. Do you feel Watch. anything? Sienten algo? Como una vibración. Lo sienten? ¿Sienten una sí. vibración? Yes. Digan yes, otra yes. vez. Digan otra vez. Work. 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 ¿Se, se, se, Work. Siente, ¿Se siente una vibración? Yes. ¿Seguro? Yes. Sí. Yes. Work. 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 ¿Sienten Work. una vibración? Watch. Ahora digan Work. watch. 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 Siento la vibración. Watch. Watch. ¿Lo sienten o no lo sienten? Watch. Watch. No, no. Ok. Porque si no lo sienten, lo están diciendo correcto. Ok. Ok. There is no vibration. Ok. No Work. 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 Hagan ese work. sonido. Work. 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 So, I, work. I just want you to practice work. the sound. Listen. Work. I just, just want you to practice the sound. Work. ¿Hay, hay vibración? No. 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 Ahí no. No, entonces, work, no. work, 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 no debería de haber vibración. Work. Work. Okay. Work. Ahora, ahora digan. No hay vibración. Tampoco hay vibración. So no. digan, watch, 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 si sienten vibración debería ir al principio. Oh, watch. watch. Pero al final no. Watch. Ok. Watch. Al principio sí se siente. Sí, pero estamos hablando del ah, final. Okay. Watch. 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 Okay. No, al final no lo siento. Ok. Good. Excellent. Ok. If there is, if the verb finishes in a sound with no vibration, the sound we're going to make is the sound of the T. Okay? So we're going to say work. Entonces sería worked. 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 Okay? This one. Watch. 
Watched. 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 Okay. Watched. De acuerdo? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Good, good. Now, let's look at this word. Bye. Solo me van a pronunciar el verbo sin la ed. Y me van a, se van a concentrar en la última, eh, la, el último sonido del verbo. Ok. Vaya, otra vez. Clean. 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 Do you feel a vibration? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, good. Allí sí deberías de sentirlo. Okay. Allí sí. Okay, with these ones, clean, clean, stay. They have vibration. Stay. Okay. So, clean, stay. Okay. Good. Now, if the verb finishes in the sound of a vibration, you're going to be using the D as the ending sound. Okay? So it should be, so it should be cleaned, cleaned. Everybody, cleaned. 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 Mm -hmm. Cleaned. Okay. All right. The other one is stayed. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Bye. ¿Entienden estas dos reglas? Yes, teacher. Yes? It's yes. clear? It's clear? clear. Yeah? Ok, good. Solo una duda, teacher. Este, los que terminan entonces sin la vibración son este, verbos irregulares. Perdón, uh, can you ask the question again? Sí, que los que terminan sin la vibración son, este, ¿a qué grupo le pertenece? No, these are all regular verbs. All, ah, okay. all of them are regular. Okay. Porque acu acuérdense que los irregulares son irregulares, entonces no tienen, no van a terminar con ed. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto, gracias. Ok. You're welcome. All right. Is this clear for everybody? Is it okay? Okay. Any questions? You have questions? No questions? No. Okay. No, I will not. Perfect. Now, with these ones, we have to look at the last sound. And if the last sound sounds like a T, like invite, or like a D, like, oh, actually, invite, um, or like a D, okay, so it, si suenen como cualquiera de estos dos sonidos, T or D, then you're going to be adding an extra syllable. This is an extra syllable and saying id, id. So it's it. invite, tid. So mm -hmm. there's gonna be an extra syllable. So invite, only one syllable, invite. But if I say, invite. if I with an ed, it's in, invite, sorry, perdón. Eh, borren lo que acabo de decir. <laughs> invite has two syllables, invite. Right? Okay. So if the sound at the end is a t or a d, then you're going to add an extra syllable. So in this case, it will be three. So you're going to say in, vi, tit. 
invited. Invited. Yes. Invited. Yes, exactly. Invited. Just like visit. This okay, so visit has two syllables, right? Visit. And it has at the end to visit. So you're gonna do extra syllable. It's gonna be now three. So it's visited. 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 So if the ending of these it is sounds like a t or d, okay. Le voy a poner un ejemplo con el d por para que no se, para que tengan ahí una idea. Add. ¿Qué significa add? Añadir. Añadir, agregar. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Um, all right, so for example, in the word add, add, finishes with the, the, the d sound, right? D, ad. So when there is the extra syllable, sorry, so ad is one syllable, right? Ad. And it finishes in d. So when you add this one, it's going to be extra syllable, a, did. A, did. A, did. Debemos agregar siempre un, una sílaba extra. Okay? Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yes? Questions? Preguntas? Pregunta, hagan preguntas. Okay. So in that case, what we're going to do is I want you to categorize. Categorize these verbs that we have here. Okay. Um, Teacher. Uh -huh. La única forma de, de, de distinguirlos es sí o sí aprendiéndonos las pronunciaciones. O sea, la, tiene que saber la pronunciación del verbo. Ajá, del verbo. Ajá. Pero según el sonido, a eso me refiero. O sea, cuando va a ser, digamos, con el sonido de t, eh, id, and, no sé si me voy a explicar. ¿Para cuál? O sea, debemos de conocer los verbos en general o una lista para poder comprender y distinguir la pronunciación de ellos. No. <risa> no me entiende. O sea, tiene que saber los verbos. Tiene que conocer <risa> verbos. Uh -huh. Y tiene que saber cómo pronunciarlo, sí. Entonces mi pregunta es, o sea, sí o sí debemos de conocer los verbos, obviamente, y saber la pronunciación de cada uno de ellos. Solo así vamos a entenderlo. ¿Cuál va para cada uno de los sonidos? Claro. Ah, ok. So, for example, cook. Right, cook. Exercise. Listen. Need. Shop. Wait. Okay. Necesito saber cómo pronunciarlo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so what I want you to do is categorize these verbs in the regular, in the, the regular verbs in the simple past. Put them in each category. Okay. So you're going to decide. Cook. Is it in this category, this one, or this one? Okay. Ahorita lo pueden categorizar.
Okay, can we check? You ready? Okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right, let's check then. Okay, cooked. The first one. One, two, or three? One. One? Everybody says one? Everybody one. agrees? One. One? So all this in one? One. Very good. Very yes. good. Yes. Excellent. Okay, here we go. The next one. Exercised. Exercised. One, two, or three? Three. Exercised. One, two, or three? Three. three. Two. Three. Two. Okay. okay. Escuchen el, la última parte. Exercise. Exercise. Three. Termina en D o T. Exercise. Okay. ¿Tiene el sonido de D o T? Exercise. ¿Ese es el sonido de D o T? Two. No. D. So that, no puede ser tres, porque la tres es el sonido de D o T. So, so it would be number one, two, two or three. Two. 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 Very two. good. Two. Exercise. Exercised. Very good. Okay, next. Listened. Listened. Two. 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 Good. Listen do, to listened. Excellent. Needed. Need. Three. 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 Very good. Because this one has finishes in d, right? Need. Need. Needed. And so we say need did. Need did. Extra syllable. Yes. Excellent. Shot. Shopped. Shop. Shop. One. 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 Yeah. Shopped is one. Shop. Chop. Shop. No, no, no vibration. Shop. No vibration. So it's shopped. Shop. Shop. Good. Not, not shop bed. No es, no es, no, no son dos, no son dos sílabas. It's shopped. Es una sola. Shopped. Shop. Shop. Shopped. Okay. All right, and wait, waited. Wait, two, 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 waited. two. Bye. Three. Originalmente three. es wait, three. wait, three. Okay, wait. so wait already finishes in a t sound, so it has to be over yes, here. Number three. Yes, it's number three because uh -huh. we are going to have extra syllable. Waited, waited, waited. an extra syllable there. Okay. Any questions? Questions? You have any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, perfect. All right, let's clear that. Okay, just a second. We're going to continue with the next part. Okay, here we have a conversation. So please take a look at this conversation. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. So we have a conversation between Laura and Erica. Listen and repeat. So did you go anywhere last summer? So did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere last summer? So did you go anywhere last summer? So, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. 
Yes, yes, I did. I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My, My sister, sister and I went, went to Arizona. Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. We, we saw, saw the Grand, 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 Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Really? 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 Did, did you like, like it? it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Oh, yes, oh, oh, yes. 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 Loved we love it. you. Did you go hiking there? Did you go, did you go hiking there? 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 No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. Actually, Actually we rode horses. Horse. 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 And we also went. Let's say. And, and we also went. went when... White water rafting. White, White water, water rafting. rafting. Water rafting. Mm. On the Colorado River. On the Colorado River. River. Wow, did you have fun? Wow, wow. did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yes, we did. Yes, we, yes, did. we did. We had a great time. We had a yeah, great, great time. time. All right, very good. Bravo. Okay, please write in the chat words that you don't understand the meaning, okay? In the chat, in the chat, write in the chat the words that you don't understand mm -hmm. the meaning. Is that it? And this is uh. is that it? Okay. All right. Um, so the first word we have is uh, anywhere. And anywhere means any place is or some place. Okay. In Spanish, how can we how can we say anywhere? How can we say anywhere in Spanish? <clears throat> algún lugar. Algún lugar. Algún lado. Algún lugar. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Um, saw is the simple past of what verb? Esto lo saben. 
Saw is the simple past of what verb? See. See, very good. It's a simple past of C. Saw is a simple past of C. Okay. A hiking. Go hiking. Creo que, si no me equivoco, ya vimos esta palabra, hiking. ¿Se acuerdan? It's an activity that you do in the mount, like you can go in the forest or in the mountains. You go hiking. So it's like walking, walking in the forest or the mountains. What is hiking in Spanish? Senderismo. Senderismo. Very good. Senderismo. Excellent. Road. Road is, oh. Mm -hmm. Road is the simple past of what verb? Look at the list. Look at the list. Ride. Ride. Very ride. good. Ride. Exactly. A ride is mm. the, the verb the, in the in the base form. And road is the past, the simple past of, of ride. Horses. Irregular verb. No, this is irregular. Mm-hmm. Yeah, irregular. Yes. Irregular. Yes, correct. It's irregular. Um, okay. Horses. Horses are animals. Uh, How for, are you? for example, um, Black Beauty is a horse. Um, yeah, so you can ride horses uh, like in, in the beach, you know, you can ride the horses. Okay. It's an animal. Rafting. Rafting means to be on a boat, okay? It's an activity when you are in a boat in the river, but usually it's it's like an inflatable boat. That's a raft and an inflatable. You know inflatable? Right? Okay, an inflatable, inflatable boat. That's rafting, it's an activity, okay? And then we have had. Had is a simple past of what verb? Have. Have, exactly. So had is a simple past of have, okay? Okay. Any questions? No. No? Okay. Now, what is this? By is this is this mi pregunta? Is this parte parte mía? Actually, what is the meaning of actually? Who knows? What is actually? It's like the hecho. Exactly, very good. De hecho, en realidad. Ok. No significa actualmente, no lo confundan. Ok. It's not the same. It's actually is not actualmente, es de hecho o en realidad. Ok. O sea que eh, se puede tomar como una afirmación, teacher. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's like saying, like, for example, um, uh, tú eres enfermera, ¿verdad? No, de hecho, um, soy doctora, right? So, it's like, no, actually, I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do we understand? Yes? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and somebody asked about great. Great. Excellent. Great. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, any questions about the pronunciation? Please write in the chat if you have questions about pronunciation. Just questions about pronunciation.
Any other? Okay. All right. So we have saw. Repeat. Saw. 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 Good. Saw. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. 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 No, it's not canyon. Canyon, no. Canyon. It's canyon. Grand Canyon. Canyon. Good. Grand Canyon. Yes, Grand Canyon. All right. It loved. Loved. Looks loved. 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 Yes. Hiking. 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 Uh, road. 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 Okay, good. Any other questions? Okay, let's continue then. Um... All right. Okay, so if you notice that we have questions here, right? Questions about the past. So we're going to quickly learn how to make questions about the past. And these are all simple yes or no questions about past events, okay? So simple past yes or no questions. Did you have a good, a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sisters go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. So if you notice, the answers that, that people are give are always going to be yes or no, because these are yes or no questions. These are not open-ended questions. Okay, these are only yes and no. So today we're only we're going to be learning about only yes or no past questions, questions that are in the simple past. Okay, so the first thing you do is that you have to start with the verb, the auxiliary did. Okay, always, always start with the auxiliary did. Now, this is very nice and easy because with this auxiliary, you don't have to worry about the subject. The subject can be he, she, it, or they. It doesn't matter because it's always going to be they. It's always going to be um, did. Okay, so you can you can say, did I, did he, did she, did it, did you. Did we, did they? It's always going to be did, did, did. Okay? So that's why you will notice that all of them start with did. Did, 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 did. Este es más fácil porque en el, en el presente tenemos que decidir entre do y does. ¿Verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? Entonces, yeah. pero este es más fácil todavía porque it's always going to be did. Okay? Always, always did. All right? Okay. okay, so Clear. perfect. Then we're going to use the subject, you, okay? It's always going to be the subject or Erica. It's 
So notice this is she, right? Erica, she, but we're still gonna be using did. So it's did and then the subject, okay? After that, we're gonna be using the auxiliary, sorry, the verb, sorry, mistake, mistake. The, the verb, which is in this case, have. In this one, play. In this one, like. Oh, perdón, me, me equivoco acá. El sujeto no es Erica, es Erica and her sister, so it's longer. Okay. So all of this is the, the, the subject, okay? And here, the verb is go. Okay? So now, the verb is going to be in the base form. No change. No change at all, okay? In the base form. Sounds good? It's okay? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. And then after that, we're just going to add, if it's necessary, we're going to be adding the, the complement. A good summer, volleyball, her vacation to Colorado. Okay, so I'll write the, again here the structure. The structure is always going to be did plus subject plus base form the verb. And if it's necessary, we'll have a complement. And of course, we have to have a question mark. That is our structure. Okay, any questions about this? We have questions. No? Okay, now, in the answer, for short answer, you're going to say yes or no. Always add a comma. Don't forget about the comma, okay? Just like here, if you notice, all of them have commas. Yes, comma. No, comma. Yes, comma. No, comma. Always, always have the comma. Okay, and then we have the subject. Here it's I, here it's I, here it's she, and here it's they. And depending on if it's affirmative, if it's affirmative, we're going to be adding the word did. Okay, so over here we have I, I, she and they. And if it's um, if it's uh, affirmative, we're gonna say did, like here, yes, she did. Yes, I did, no, yes, she did. And if it's negative, didn't. No, I didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, so for the answer, it's going to look like this. Answer, yes, plus comma, okay, plus comma, plus subject, plus did, okay, or no plus comma plus subject plus didn't. Okay, 
that's 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 gonna be our our answers, short answers. These are short answers. Okay. Is this pretty clear for everybody? Questions? No question. No? Okay, all right, guys. So that is going to be all for today. Um, just remember that, and we're going to work a little bit on that tomorrow, okay? Um, solamente asegurarme, ¿verdad? Que todos sí han terminado la plataforma, ¿verdad? ¿Todos lo terminaron? Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, perfecto, perfecto. Okay, y también un recordatorio de que, um, bueno, creo que ya, ya vieron mi mensaje allí en, en el chat. Siempre se tienen que seguir conectando. Tenemos dos días más de clase. Necesitamos conectarnos porque acuérdense que la asistencia también es parte del requisito. O sea, además de su de completar la, la plataforma en lo cual ya todos lo hicieron cumplieron con eso pero también tenemos que cumplir con eh, eh, la asistencia mínima entonces um, por eso es importante de que nos seguimos conectando uh, entiendo que a veces hay inconvenientes algunos de ustedes están a veces en camino a casa eh, cuando cuando empieza la clase um, otros eh, pues están enfermos um, etcétera etcétera que hay un montón de razones por qué a veces se les dificulta conectarse pero solo acuérdense que solo una horita eso es todo una hora entonces hagamos el esfuerzo de conectarnos estas últimas dos horitas de clase verdad solo es mañana y pasado verdad y entonces así podemos cumplir con, con todos los requisitos y así puedan ustedes eh, tener éxito y poder pasar al siguiente nivel, ¿ok? Así de que, uh, no sé si tienen alguna inquietud o pregunta hasta la fecha de lo que hemos estado viendo o, o de lo que acabo sí, de decir. Ajá. No, no, yo este, no había llegado a casa, sí, ya pasó lista. Me sí. desconecté tarde. Sí, sí, uh, pasé lista, Eloisa. Sí, um, al principio de la clase. Ok, gracias, Eloisa. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna otra inquietud. No, sí, yo, yo también entré un poquito tarde, entonces no estuve tiempo para cuando pasó lista. Ok, ok, gracias, eh, Daniel. Gracias. Okay. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Yo también, no tuve dificultad para conectarme temprano. Igual ayer tuve un problema y ya no me pude conectar. Me quedé en media. Ok, ok. Sí, eh, gracias. Gracias, um, Sonia uh, Yanira, por, por um, avisar. Me too, teacher. Ok, <laughs> perfecto. Gracias, Mina. Bye. Eh, por eso mismo les decía traten de conectarse eh, si ustedes pueden desde el principio. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces de repente tenemos problemas con conexión, ¿verdad? De repente usted quiere conectarse y no, le pu no puede porque la conexión está mala, lo saca la plataforma, etcétera, etcétera. Y ahí entonces se pierde, tiemp se pierde tiempo, se pierde minutos de clase. Entonces, aunque usted, digamos, haya estado en todas las clases, pero si por aquí motivo no pudo estarse no pudo conectarse digamos 20 minutos en cada sesión ya aunque se haya conectado en cada clase ya perdió un tercio de de, de la asistencia entonces por eso tratamos de siempre si es posible conectarnos a tiempo estar toda la clase y hagamos el esfuerzo de hacer estas últimas dos clases ok ok eh, alguna inquietud algo más que quieran Perdón, Sonia, creo que dijo algo, pero no creo que dijo algo, pero no sé. ¿Dijo algo, Sonia? No, no, teacher. Oh, ok, ok. Bueno. 
Ok, entonces en ese caso, uh, bueno, sería todo y nos vemos mañana. Ok, so see you tomorrow at nine. Ok, bye everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.